Good morning, Hornet Nation. Welcome to the Daily Buzz. I'm Joe Hutzler. Today is Thursday, September 6th, 2018, and I'm still in my suit, which must mean we had a game last night. Let's talk about that game, volleyball, their home opener against Averett University, and it came down to a fifth and final set. Here are the ladies battling the Cougars on Wednesday night, and they're pumped up and ready to go. We're in the first set. Emma Drake, the star freshman, showing off her skills, leading, te leading the team in kills coming into this contest. And on the end of the stat sheet, at the end of the night, she would come away with an impressive 14 kills. Lynchburg fell in the first set, but battled back here in the second. Lindsey Lang picking up a kill for herself. She had 11 on the evening and in in getting the start. Still in the second, Lynchburg uh, fighting back, going late past 25s and winning it by two, 29-27 to tie us at one apiece. Now we're in the third set. It is early in the third set on this highlight, but in the end, it was the Cougars 25-20 to even after the impressive block. Great work here by our crew, checking out Lynn, uh, Sydney Frank jumping up for the kill and killing the Cougars, 25-18 in set number four. She led the team with 26 kills to go along with 13 digs. Here's another for Emma Drake in the fifth set and then a long rally which Lynchburg would end with the point on this one after a great play again from Sydney Frank set up by the Hornets. Farina to Frank, but Lynchburg falls in five. 3-2, your final from Turner Gymnasium. Moving on to games the rest of the week to talk about. Tomorrow at 12, this volleyball team you just saw will play again. This time they will be at Maryville College in Tennessee battling the Lynx of Rhodes College. Then, just a few hours later, it's against back against Salem, Salem College who they played last week at the Route 42 Classic uh, in that tournament. So revenge on the minds for your Hornets against the Spirits. Also tomorrow night at 7.30 here at home, the first day of the Schellenberger Classic for number 21 Lynchburg men's soccer. They look to remain undefeated as they welcome in the Red Devils of Dickinson College who also played in the NCAA tournament here last year. So a familiar ground for the Red Devils under the lights Friday night football. All right, moving on to campus events. We have four to show you today. There's a Spanish conversation table at Pete's Place today at 4 p.m. You're invited as you were last week to Tertulia, and unless like, just like last week, I'm still not sure if that's pronounced correctly. Moving on to Cards Against Hypnosis tonight at 7. Interactive comedy hypnosis show will be in the Memorial Ballroom. If you haven't checked it out since it's been renovated, tonight is a great chance to do that. International Society Movie Night is from 7 to 9.30 this evening from Brewer Classroom 1, the building uh, down by the townhouses and apartments. Everyone welcome to watch Whale Rider. There will be prizes, free pizza, drinks, and snacks. I think I'm just going to skip the Daily Buzz tonight and go to that. And lastly, but certainly not least, it's time to register for you to take part in Doggies in the Dell, our biannual great event in the Dell with beautiful pups. October 4th, 3 to 5 p.m. is when it is. Your chance to register through your email uh, is right now. An email was sent yesterday by Kristen Cooper to the entire campus. So if you're interested in that event with your doggy, please sign up today. That's going to do it for us here on The Daily Buzz. A constant reminder for you, of course, you can follow along with everything Lynchburg Hornets by downloading the One Nation app today. Until tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. right here on Facebook and YouTube along with LynchburgSports.com. We're everywhere, folks. I'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Until then, remember, it's a great day to be a Hornet, and we are One Nation.